Hi, this is Kenneth Wong, Senior Editor for Digital Engineering or DE Magazine. Generally, CFD, Computational Fluid Dynamics, is a pretty complex simulation task delegated to specialists. But can it be made more accessible to design engineers, to those who work on the products in the early conceptual phase? Let's take a look at how Simulation Hub manages to simplify it. Simulation Hub is cloud-hosted, running inside a browser. This is classic software as a service. The setup is pretty straightforward. You initiate a new simulation job, you upload the model, you define the volume of the flow, you define the nature of the flow, then you solve the scenario in the cloud. So what I have here is a fairly crude CAD geometry of a water pump created with my non-expert hands. Let's just say it's the kind of water pump no hydraulic professionals would ever attempt, but perhaps that would suffice for the purpose of this demonstration. One step that tends to get complicated in CFD is defining the liquid or air volume. That's the area where flow is possible, the area that you would want to analyze. Simulation Hub lets you easily define it by picking two spots that represent roughly the boundary edges of the volume. The software deals with the rest, like figuring out the complex internal geometry that is involved. Now, in my example water pump, the flow volume is fairly easy to figure out. But in things like the interior of a building, for example, where you might want to conduct airflow analysis, the geometry can be quite complicated because of the number of surfaces and walls involved. And Simulation Hub's approach makes it easy to tackle these type of geometry. Let's go back to my ill-conceived water pump. Now I'm going to identify where the liquid will come in, where it will go out. You do that by picking the surfaces that represents the inlet and the outlet. My simulation is now in progress, and I can go back to doing my other jobs. Keep in mind, this is running in the cloud, so my own PC is not slowing down, as it would be the case if I were using my own CPUs and GPUs in my machine to run a simulation job. This is one of the appeals of cloud-hosted simulation. Once the simulation is done, I get a notification, and I'm ready to review the results. Now, here are the flow patterns. Based on that, if I were a proper hydraulic engineer, I can go back and fix the geometry and the shape of my water pump so the water flow better, perhaps by enlarging the outlets and the inlets and the pipes, and also by changing the 45 degree angle into something much more conducive to easy flow. Critics of easy simulation often say, you wouldn't want people who don't fully understand simulation like CFD to handle the situation. The counter argument, and one that I tend to side with, is that if you're using it, as a general guidance to tell you which direction your design should go. And that is usually the purpose of using simulation in the conceptual design phase. You care more about the software's ease of use, efficiency, and the general answers to your questions. Of course, if you are dealing with squeezing out the last grammar weight possible from a product, or adjusting the precise angle of a complicated airflow around an airplane, that sort of thing should be left to the experts, I agree. Simulation Hub, in my view, offers an inviting, accessible interface to run CFD without sacrificing your own PC's performance. It's in beta, so if you're interested, register and try it out yourself, and then tell me what you think about it. For now, this is Kenneth Wong from DE, signing off.